Have you ever bought coffee mugs, souvenir coffee mugs on your family vacations? So many that they seem to overflow your kitchen cabinets. Well, if you had a collection like Charlie Fouts, they would overflow your whole kitchen. Rob Wiles takes us to Woodbury to meet this man with the massive mug collection. It's another morning at the Fouts home in Woodbury where coffee leads to the first big decision of the day. Let's see, what mug are we gonna use today? For Charlie and Catherine, this is a hard question to answer. Why, if they wanted to, they could go for more than a decade and never use the same mug twice. Charlie is a mug man. With how many mugs? 37, though. And if you have 37, though. mugs to choose from, well, it's difficult to pick, though Catherine has her favorite. He bought this one, and uh, it has become one of my favorites. What does it say on there? She could no longer pretend that he wasn't an idiot. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. <laughs> he bought it. <laughs> I just agree. <laughs> you, ever, you ever looked around and say, we all must be idiots to have 36,000 mugs. Of course, there. of course. Yeah. Everybody collects something. <laughs> it's easy to say Charlie has 37 mugs, but just what that means becomes more clear when you have to go to a separate building jammed from floor to ceiling. But as you can see, it's full. That's not going to stop you, though, is right. it? Right. Well, I, I, I take you upstairs, but we haven't got upstairs yet. <laughs> Uh, so more to come up there. Oh, yeah. Of course, Charlie didn't start out with a barn full of mugs. He didn't start out with any mugs at all. I started making the mug racks, and then the kids said, well, let's put some mugs. So back then, you could buy them for 10 cents a copy. Mm -hmm. And so we bought a bunch of them just to stick on the, on the mug rack to show people what we could do for them. And so it began. And before he knew it, some 20 years had passed, and Charlie had 37 though. mugs. Most he bought. A lady says, uh, I'm going to give you this mug because I know you don't have it. <laughs> I got three of them. <laughs> mugs of all shapes and varieties, some with special meaning. You even got these like M&Ms, right? Like you're, are you heavily into candy or why did why you have these M&M cups here? Well, when my granddaughter was a small baby, you know, they were uh -huh. using them to potty train her. Oh, really? Oh, you mean like if she'd do the right thing, they'd give her a little treat. I got right. you. All right. And so she did that for about four years. Uh huh. And then, then she quit altogether. She uh -huh. she won't even go anywhere near it. She's had uh, it with M&Ms. She quit. And so here I had all these M&Ms. And she comes and looks at them, but she remembers them, obviously. But so, so you got these kind of to remind you of your granddaughter. Correct. Kind of like a scrapbook, a cutting. There you go. Scrapbook. There you go. She's going to be real happy that you told that story about her getting potty trained. Yeah. <laughs> Some that bring back memories with old friends. In the summertime, in the spring, mm -hmm. well, in the summertime, I wear shorts, real short shorts, mm -hmm. and so my legs are white in the beginning. So. <laughs> Billy Seister, who passed away, always said, are those your legs or are you riding a chicken? And so every time, he, he might see me three days in a row and he'd ask me the same question. And so when I found that mug with the guy riding the chicken with the top hat, I got to buy this mug. And then I looked inside and it said, the village idiot. And I said, oh, that's me. And so, because everybody says, you're an idiot to spend all this money, you know, because you don't sell them. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I said, I just buy them and stick them on a wall. And even though Charlie makes a real effort to catalog his collection, well, when you've got 37, though. mugs, it's understandable how some might get misplaced. You can't pick out one mug and say, okay, it's on shelf four, shelf five, you know, uh -huh. and it's in the middle, you know. Uh, once I put them on the shelf, they're gone, man. My, <laughs> I don't know where they go. You know. No matter where they are, Charlie gets a kick out of showing his collection to visitors just to see their reaction. I think it, you know, it shocks them when they walk in here and say, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> and the numbers, again, like you say, 37, huh? you know. Uh -huh. And I say, yeah. You want to count them? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't bother to count them. Take Charlie's word that there are 37,000 mugs in his collection right now. 
with more almost certainly to come. Thank you.